Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 30th, 2020. Well, today, Trump's 2000 checks are all but dead on arrival because the GOP Senate opposes more aid to the people. Two ER nurses test positive for COVID-19 a week after they receive the vaccine. Pence refuses to sign on a plan to overturn election results. Senator Josh Hawley says he will object during the election, the electoral college certification process. So basically, he doesn't want the election, he wants to overturn elections as well. And then Biden, Biden criticizes the pace of the coronavirus vaccine rollout and blames Trump for uh, Trump's administration for it. Now, if that isn't pretty bad, right? president that wants to help us basically uh, is slowing down the um, coronavirus vaccine uh, inoculations for who knows what, right? Well, but more on to stimulus news. Nancy Pelosi held a press conference this morning, her last one of the year, basically, says tomorrow's the Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, so it'll be her last one of the year. I'll let you know more about that a bit later. The Treasury has already started to send out the stimulus checks, I mean, well, stimulus payments via direct deposit. So if you've actually received your direct direct deposit uh, payment, please let me know. Because, well, or if you haven't, just drop it down in my comment box and know if you've got your direct payment in your uh, bank account or not. And... And to nobody's surprise, the $2,000 stimulus payment was blocked by Senate Republicans, as I stated earlier in my broadcast. Um, the real question is, is, is there a whole stimulus check thing just a whole ruse? You know, are they just going around? And because Trump knew the Democrats would go for the repeal of the Section 230, which helps to... Uh, limit the liability protection that certain businesses have such as as facebook and twitter and other social networking platforms as well as he would not they would not go for a committee to investigate uh, electoral fraud since the democrats do not believe that there was widespread electoral fraud involved in the elections trump tweeted yesterday to the republicans and it wasn't too friendly in fact i'll actually pop a full screen of that one for you Right here. I mean, who is he really trying to appeal to? Not the Republicans. That is, that is his basically threat. He basically threatened them with a death wish. He's not re- appealing to the Democrats. He basically said they stole the election. So who is he trying to appeal to? I mean, that's a good question. I think. Who is Donald Trump trying to appeal to by? Anything he's trying to do, I mean, two thousand dollars stimulus checks, repeal to Section two thirty, electoral fraud inv- investigation team, and all this when his whole thing is about to come to an end on January twentieth. In Pelosi's press conference, she did she did say a lot, but the most important thing she said was that the two thousand stimulus check proposal is being held up by Mitch McConnell, which is true. It is. There's even a question and answer part portion where Pelosi was asked about the $2,000 checks and if it dies in this current Congress session so the new members get in there, will it be brought up in the new Congress session with new members in there? In fact, I have a clip of her explaining, telling you that right here. Put it back. Yes, sir. Uh, on the stimulus uh, checks, uh, we're hearing on the Senate side that time is running out. Are you are you going to commit to bringing this idea back of two thousand dollars checks next week if it, if it does die in this Congress? Well, let, let us let's be hopeful that it can happen this week, because the sooner it happens, the sooner the checks go out. So we're not giving up on it. The President of the United States, Donald Trump, is advocating for it. The Congress, in a bipartisan way, in the House, has voted for it. It would have bipartisan support in the Senate if Mitch McConnell would only allow it to come to the floor instead of being an obstruction 
to those checks going to the American people. And as you notice, she surely didn't answer the question. In fact, she sort of sort of sidetracked herself on that on the thing. The next step for the stimulus checks is to bring up to a full vote. Trump was very agitated that the stimulus that the Senate Republicans basically rejected the two thousand dollar stimulus check yesterday. Yesterday, the first case of a the new that's right, the first case of the new mutated COVID nineteen was reported in the United States in Colorado. The patient is now currently in quarantine in isolation. So we're gonna find out what's going on with that as well. Because a new mutated strain of COVID nineteen we've been hearing about has now struck the United States. And they're gonna do contact tracing to find out who else might have this so they can also quarantine them as well. And the, the new patient, like I said, he was from Colorado and he was in his 20s. Um, the U.S. reported a record high death count on Tuesday from COVID-19. In fact, if you're watching, you can see my chart alongside me over here on this side right here. Um, that shows the current uh, case count daily for your you like for you guys to look at and to see how bad it's really getting for us and to see that our congress is doing exactly nothing to help us out but this is and always will be the people's stimulus check and stimulus package update and i hope you guys have a wonderful wednesday please stay safe out there and remember we're all in this together because basically we're all we got so until next time you guys be safe be happy and i hope you enjoy my content and if you do please like and subscribe bye Oh, 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 oh,